Hello, good morning. How y'all doing today? Listen. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. As you can tell by my hairstyle. I normally do the profits. Um, but today I want to do... Uh, Proverbs 29. Okay. <clears throat> Proverbs 29. You know what that is? Come on in the room. Come on in the room. <laughs> All right. Let's do uh, nothing but the blood to open it up. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hold on. More minute. Okay. Let's do it. Nothing but the blood. And this is um, page 195 in the hymn book. Okay. Uh, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. For my pardon, this I see. For my cleansing, this my plea. Nothing can for sin atone. Not of good that I have done. This is all my hope and peace. This is all my righteousness. The blood of Jesus. That's a nice one. I like it. This is taken from 1 John 1, 7. Okay. First John 1, 7. That's one of the little ones. First John 1 7 says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So there's God is light. What was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we looked upon and touched with our hands concerns the word of life for the life was made visible and we have seen it and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life that was with the father and was made visible to us what we have seen and heard we proclaim now to you so that you too may have fellowship with us for our fellowship is with the father and with his son jesus christ we are writing this so that our joy may be complete. That's the prologue of uh, our chapter 1, verse 1 through 4 of the Word of Life, 1 John chapter 1. Amen. So let's do our scriptural reading, which is Proverbs 29. Whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes, will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. Whoever remains stiff-necked after many rebukes will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. When the righteous thrive, the people rejoice. When the, when the wicked rule, the people groan. A man who loves wisdom 
brings joy to his father, but a companion of prostitutes squanders his wealth. By justice, a king gives a country stability, but those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. Those who flatter their neighbors are spreading nets for their feet. Evildoers are snared by their own sin, but righteous shout for joy and are glad. The righteous care about justice for the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. Mockers stir up a city, but the wise turn away anger. If a person goes to court with a fool, the fool rages and scoffs, and there is no peace. The bloodthirsty hate a person of integrity and seek to kill the upright. Fools give vent to their rage, but the wise bring calm in the end. If a ruler listens to lies, all his officials become wicked. The poor and the oppressor have this in common. The Lord gives sight to the eyes of both. If a king judges the poor with fairness, his throne will be established forever. A rod and a reprimand impart wisdom, but a child undisciplined disgraces its mother. When the wicked thrive, so does sin, but the righteous will see their downfall. Discipline your children, and they will give you peace. They will bring you the delights you desire. Where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. But blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. Servants cannot be corrected by mere words. Though they understand, they will not respond. Do you see someone who speaks in haste? There is more hope for a fool than for them. A servant pampered from youth will turn out to be insolent. An angry person stirs up conflict, and a hot-tempered person commits many sins. Pride brings a person low, but the lowly in spirit gain honor. The accomplices of thieves are their own enemies. They are put under oath and dare not testify. Fear of man will prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. Many seek an audience with the ruler, but it is from the Lord that one gets justice. Mm -mm. The righteous detest the dishonest. The wicked detest the upright. That's Proverbs 29. All right, I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back.